It's Maisie and Charlie from the local lowdown, and we are here with Robbery Club at BJ's. All right, guys, so introduce yourselves and what you play in the band. Hello, I am Jake. I play guitar and I sing. Hi, I'm Tom. I also play guitar and sometimes I sing. Yeah. Aaron, bass. And I'm Rob and I play drums. So, Robbery Club is a newer project in the Buffalo music scene with some familiar faces. We know some of you used to play in Ghost Pool. What has it been like transitioning to Robbery Club? Uh, it's been really refreshing. It's been really exciting, honestly. This lineup is like, I don't know, everything that we've always wanted to be. I feel like we're just firing on all cylinders and just ready to release new music. Um, music that we've been sitting on for a while and music that we're also just you know, new, new music too as well. I don't know. Yeah, we're just excited. Really, really excited. So are there any new members? Which one of you guys have just joined? Uh, I'm, I'm relatively new as of like the last like three or four months yeah. or so. Yeah, I joined up right at the beginning of January, end of December. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we just kind of been like rolling ever since then, staying really busy, uh, playing a lot of local shows. And it's really cool. It's like, it's fun to hang out and play. So do you guys see any stylistic differences in from what you guys have been playing compared to now? I would say that, um, I don't know. I just, I feel like Robbery Club has more of like an aggressive sound. Um, Ghost Pool had more of like a skate punk sound, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what I would classify it, but I get a lot of, um, I get a lot of title fight with this band, which I like. It's a, it's a nice, fresh sound. It's good. So what's the meaning behind your name, Robbery Club? Where did you guys get that from? My little cousins got caught stealing a $20 bill, and their excuse was, we started a robbery club, and we needed something to steal. Yeah. <laughs> so It's like the babysitter's the... club for felons. Yeah. <laughs> Just went on the list, and then we were playing a show. We're like, shoot, we need a name. Yeah. <laughs> Well, does it have any significance in the new music you're playing, or is it just any songs based off your little cousin stealing a $20 bill? No, but there is a song from the perspective of a dog, and they can be little thieves. It's kind of just about, you know, I guess a little anarchy and, like, a little bit of a rebellion and just, you know, breaking the rules a little bit. <laughs> That's kind of what I get from Robbery Club, so. Okay, all right, I hear it, I hear it. All right. Your recent single, Sharp Air, has a music video with a collagic style that was created by Aaron, a self-proclaimed magazine pirate. How do you find all of these clippings for the video, and how did they come together from, for the making of the music video? So I collect a lot of old magazines um, and cut them up sometimes and glue them together. <laughs> so I've yeah. got a whole backlog of Nat Geo's and Omni Magazine, Arizona Highways is one of my favorites. Like time, right? Time, yeah, you name them. Yeah. I accept some of them. <laughs> you know, I would not have those. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a couple easy riders but, in there, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it, it's been fun, though. So I hadn't done a video before, and we wanted some sort of visual media to come out with the song. So just started clipping together some things and seeing if we could make something happen. You came up with a whole narrative, too, with it and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was took it, an absurd amount of time. Okay. Like, it's not sustainable. It's like 16 hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So there is a narrative, but the music video seems kind of separate from the lyrics. Was that intentional? I, I think the story kind of just took its own life as the process and edits like, started happening, and then we get an idea for a scene and just kind of make it happen. Sharp Air is about um, the cold days in Buffalo, and uh, the first lyric is about the calling out the sun, asking where it's been, True. basically. Missing the sun and the warm sunshine. So that's what it's about. A song about longing. And if you think about it, the video, it's about longing, so, you know, kind of full circle. So you guys have actually played here in Fredonia in the past as Ghost Pool. Namely at the now closed house venue, the North Pole Strip Club, and of course, BJ's. So how do you feel about the Fredonia scene now that you've played several different venues in the area with different bands? So it, it feels really cool to come back and play a show here because the first time I played here was 2016. Um, that was also the last time I played here. So 
to come back with these guys who I, I idolized, actually. I was a huge fan of Ghost Pool. And then I moved to Buffalo, and then they asked me to be in their band. I'm like, oh, man, I get to be in one of my favorite bands? Like, that's sick. Um, but to come back and just, like, see the scene still doing its thing and just, like, kids getting involved, it's just a really, really cool thing. And I'm really proud of everybody that, like, still continues to, like, contribute to this. Because it is important, you know, like, kids going to shows, and, you know, it's great. Okay. In your initial BJ's Fest show announcement post, it was said that more music is on the way. When should we be looking out for this? Wouldn't you like to know? We would. We would. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Sometime in the summer, I bet. Okay, awesome. Sometime in the summer. We're getting mixes back any day. Ask that guy. <laughs> so recently, you announced that you are joining, I'm going to botch this name, Dury? At their, Dirty. Yeah, Dirty. at their show on June 13th at Mohawk Place. What are your thoughts when they asked you to play at that gig? We hadn't even really played a show yet. So we were super stoked because I've been following Dury since like 2021. They had like this hit on that blew up on TikTok. But they've been like putting in the work. They've been playing some big shows. They have catchy tunes. We're so stoked they're coming to Buffalo and we want to show them a good time. All right. So we should be on the lookout for music this summer at some point. How about any upcoming shows or merch that she, we should be on the lookout for? Um, well, we have one shirt right now that is available to buy. Okay. There will be more in the future. But that, uh, one shirt? Like, one, a single, single, single Special edition. edition. <laughs> it's a $6,000 shirt. I mean, it it covers with, our one size fits all. I made it with my cold, hard hands. Oh, yeah, Rob made it. Why were your hands, why were your hands cold? It was 3 in the morning. Oh, okay. I was probably just going to bed when you were making the shirts then. Yeah. Rob printed our shirts the day of our first show. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So we had the show that evening. I showed up at like 3 or 4 a.m. at the warehouse to print them because I work at Oxford Pennant. So we, we have a screen printing machine. Uh, did the shirts <laughs> as people were walking in to get to work. And I did the whole, yeah, it was, I'm never doing it again. So if you want a shirt, buy them. I'm never making them again. Now there's only one left. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. It's been Maisie and Charlie. And we will catch you in the next interview.